What are you saying? I just wanted to do oh, a little pick pick. Oh, go, pick. go, 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 say hi. Hey guys. It's so greasy, babe. I'm sorry. All right, guys, welcome back. Another episode, and this one, we're both super, super, super excited. Ellie Boo Boo made some lengua tacos last night, and this is a, part two. This is part, part two. two. She's making some bidia. With the, in, in the sense, well, with the lengua. No, well, actually, because she had brewed some beef bones to make some consomme and if you don't know now you know we made a birria uh, chivo birria like ramen last time and we wanted to try well i wanted to try my own version of like the birria so this is with mine so yes we have had ramen before but this is actual homemade exactly we but what's our name though you forgot to say our name don't forget you know what let's do the thumbnail before we forget my memory slip today don't forget don't forget it's drooling Andale. Andale. You know, you should turn it's wow well, you need to turn my soup, babe. Where? To show them it's a tapatio. Look. Ready? Ready? Hold 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 the it's hot though. No. Why are you hugging me? <laughs> I can't touch you because look at my fingers are all greasy. Alright. Yeah, so like I was saying, we we have done one of these tapatio ramen yes. before and it was with chivo mm -hmm. goat. But this time my girl doing this on the homemade and we're doing the, yeah. the beef bones and the the cow tongue the uh, lengua yeah but but that and was where i cooked it in and then this is more like the what is it called again babe the, the gelatinous it's more gelatinous Gelat yeah, gelat yeah. yeah 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 goody goody and i know for sure i'm gonna say this right now i know for sure this is gonna hands down gonna be way better i hope so way better than so we cheaper. already cooked it a little bit uh, we'll show you guys the footage and oh yeah babe come on come on Ooh, we, hold on oh hold you on. know i don't want to show you but we'll show hold you guys on. Hold on. What it looks like. You want me to open mine and show? Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not ready yet. So it's just literally your girl is so ghetto and she like shaved off all the meat off of the bones from like just beef bones. That's all the meat I used. Peel it. Uh, Peel all right, it. Ready? Dang, it's greasy though. And I and I took up all the grease too. But look, it's this all right. is this is the gelatinous, the, the bone marrow situation. The goody goody right Dang. there. Dang. Start then, in, girl. Start in. Oh, you see it's still cooking. Ain't nothing like hot food. Hot steaming food. I think other places, babe, um, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, they add cheese, but I feel like it doesn't need it. I could pass on the cheese. JB's not a cheese guy. No, I like cheese, but I don't feel Ooh. like it's necessary. So, all right, guys. So now that I've kind of mixed it, it's still cooking. Look how greasy that is. I literally took off all the grease, but apparently not good enough. I'm going to put like the cilantro all and right. everything on it. Hold on. I'm gonna oh, you, you can dress yeah, it up. I'm gonna dress it up for the for the gram. Do you know? Do you know? I'm gonna dress it up, homie. Do you know? Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? Twist it. Whoosh! You juicing me up, girl. Sorry, 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 sorry. You gotta get the whole effect. I'm gonna take a pic of this. All right. Gizmo, checking out for now. For now. Oh, I'm gonna fix my little onion, guys. It's all about the aesthetics. Aesthetics, right? All right. Dang, JB. babe. JB's gonna do his up right now. Right now, right now. Oh look yeah. At that. I'm so Girl, excited. Girl, look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Oh my god. Is that your face? Is that your face? I feel like. Okay, dress it up, dress it up. I'll see you dress it up. 
My hands are dirty, so I'm not using Gizmo, but I'm using my phone. Dang. Uh, yeah, girl. I hope it's okay. It's well, we actually already had a little bit of the consomme yesterday. I'm gonna stop. Mm -hmm. We had the consomme yesterday because we had the lingo tacos, like JV said, mm -hmm. but. Oh my god. We were supposed to do this video like two days after. I'm gonna need a napkin whenever you get a chance. Two days after um, that video, but we were like one day after, like, let's just do it because we wanted it so bad. We were supposed to do this tomorrow. We did yeah. the Lengua Taco last night. Look at that, guys. Look and at that. we were supposed to, well, we were planning to do this Ooh. tomorrow, but we wanted to get down on it today, so it's happening today. So let's just do this. Cheers, girl. All right. I hope it's cooked. Cheers. Cheers. It's cooked. I know. Sorry, it's messy. Can't so the, you didn't use any of the seasoning packet, no, right? No, I didn't. Oh, I, nice. the, the soup comes with seasoning, and last time we tried it with the, the one that we bought, and on it, JB said you couldn't taste anything, but this time he's like, don't add it, just let yeah, it be okay. the juice. I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference. It's good. It's good. It's good. 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 Mm. So we need tapatio? Maybe that's what it is, baby. It's hot sauce? Like, yeah, it needs tapatio. Or look, we have those. Or unless you want to split one of the seasoning packets. Yeah, let's do, right, that. let's do that. I think last time it adds a tapatio flavor, mm -hmm. for sure. We can show it. Mm -hmm. mm. So nice though. We'll if you guys one. haven't tried the... We'll split one and if we need to, we'll split a second here. If you guys have not tried like the, this trend, guys. Like the, the big flavor. The fact that we have it twice in our channel, like we, we actually really like it. Here, I'm going to pour it for you because my hands are greasy. Handle it. Or should we just do both? We'll just do it and then let me know. And um, we can just mix it now and then do more later. But yeah, guys, this is the tapatio, like, beef base that comes in the packet. Mm -hmm. So mix, make sure you mix it really good. Mm -hmm. We've been doing stuff all backwards up in here. Sure. And then we're just drinking and sipping on some... Scissor. Or chata. What'd you say? What? Scissor. Scissor. What's that? Scissor sipping. Oh. Oh. Uh, right there. That's that gelatinous. That's my good shit. stuff. Right there. Right there. That's my favorite, dude. I'm gonna bust. It's not as thick this time. I'm gonna bust gizmo out. I'm gonna bust gizmo out. Girl, you, 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 girl, your your hands are not dirty. Did you did you go in there? Huh? Did you really go in? Yeah, you didn't have. Yeah. Sorry guys, it's really hot. I'm learning that I need to slow down or your girl can be sweating, sweating. So I'm waiting for the soup to get a little bit, uh, como se dice? A little cooler. Que se enfrie. Mm. So that's what we were talking mm. about right there. Like oh my God. Gelatin is good, good right there. So bomb. Right. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah. oh, look at that. Look at what JD found. Ooh. Right. Right. Is that okay or is that okay? I think that's A okay. <laughs> He's a reporter. I was like thinking like this hey, door. I, you know what? I'm always, you know, I'm surprised. I'm always the B-roll girl. And JB, um, he's learning. He's learned some tips from his girl. Like she the said, background. She said she's the B-roll girl. I am. I added some of the pickled like onions. Ooh, oh my yeah, sorry, baby. Yeah. Oh, you scared me. I added some of the pickled onions with the habanero and it has like limon and sal to make it a oh it's hot. Are you I use that one, yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Is the soup any different for you with the seasoning pack? I don't know. Do you feel like it needs something more spicy? I don't I don't know. I feel like it did a little bit. Do you want to add the other one is what you're saying? Let's just add a bucket. Sorry, guys. You want to add the other one? We can. It's up to you. Like before we... It's nice though, the flavor. Mm-hmm. I'm making a mess. But I hear you. I hear what you mean by the tapatio flavor too. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a tapatio. I'll give me just a little, not too much. 
I, I think now that we, we didn't do it with it, and now that we did it um, with, like we know like, okay, yeah, it makes a little bit of a difference. Mm -hmm. Not that the bra isn't good, it's just like, it has a tapatio. It gives a twist to yeah. it, because it's the tapatio. They know what they're doing. Oh my god, this is what I was waiting for. This is what I was waiting for right here. Look at guys. Yeah, I just ate mine right there. Did you? Yeah. Oh, he's so lucky. I'm gonna wait for mine to pull. <laughs> he's so lucky. I think this is why we pushed the video one I filmed day. it. I filmed it with Gizmo. That B roll. I showed everybody and then I ate it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Mmm. Ooh! And nice and hot too. Yeah, it has to be. Mm. Ain't nothing like hot ramen noodle on a hot summer day. Right? Oh my god. You guys, I'm telling you, I, I think I said this before. Y'all go grab yourself some bones from the freaking market. Beef bones, it's just like super cheap. And then you people don't like, I don't know if people buy it, but obviously they sell it for a reason. Mm -hmm. But you can get it's so more, much meat out of, out know, of that and people flavor. People use the bones to boil for flavor when they make a bone. Yeah, but I hope they don't soup. throw away the... No. Nah, you don't think so? Like, just the whole bones? Mm -hmm. Like, you have to peel the meat off mm -hmm. of it, right? We'll show you guys what it looks like. No, people eat it. Mm. It's not clear. That's delicious. You couldn't wait till tomorrow, huh? Could you? Nah, I was ready for it, dude. I'm ready for a leftover uh, lengua, too. Hmm. It actually is thicker today. We kind of yeah. grew the consomme is like you, way when thicker. When you keep boiling it, it thickens mm -hmm. up. It's, it's delicious. Now that we dwindled down on the soup, mm -hmm. like your girl's gonna make you get up, maybe. It's okay. Let like, me know. The reason, no, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make it get up so we can take out all the meat and put more meat in our maybe. Is there more meat? There's yeah, way more, right? It, yeah, right. Just, like, there's not like way more, but there's. I'll bring. I would skim out the meat, you know. I'm all excited. I can't talk right today. I'll get it right now. No rush. It's so much soup. Well, are you gonna put it? Oh, put it in one of those plates. Mm-hmm. So we can put it in our soup, babe. Mm-hmm. Ellie Boo Boo, Always Sunny JB on missions to the kitchen. And JB be so willing too. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh though. He knows he knows his girl what his girl's thinking. Ooh, y'all. Yeah. This is the trend I said, guys, that you need to try. I'm so happy with my consomme. Like, it could be a little bit less greasy. I'm not gonna lie. I think we talked about this. I literally degreased it again. I don't know where the heck all this oil comes from. I know that I've gone to beauty spots where it's also oily. So I don't know if it's like impossible to skim all the damn oil or what. But JB said he's gonna teach me. Yeah, you forgot to ask me, homie. I don't freaking remember you gotta ask me. I I skimmed the fat from the before reheating it all the top layer and it's still oily like this. Where is it at? Where's the fat at? Where's the oil at? You know what it is? Huh? Like you have you're gonna have to in order to get rid of a lot of the oil uh -huh. that's on the top, mm. you have to bake, you're gonna end up losing a lot of the liquid. Yeah, but that's, that's what it is. That's how it works though. Dang. That's how it works. Did you take out all the meat or just whatever Most, you took Yeah, like 90% of it that I was able to scoop out. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, this is like the never ending ramen bowl. It's hot though. It is hot. It is very hot. I don't know. It's not a bad thing, but. No, it's a great thing. It's kind of juicy. Get what he said? These limes are juicy. It's got a lot of juice. Sipe, sipe? Mm hmm. 
Rabanos are the ish. Is this your first time making on some hair? Yeah, homie. What do you think? Tell them, tell the peeps the truth. Tell us the blood truth. It came out good. It came out real good. Real good. All of them. But I'm not even surprised. I the know recipe that I, I used in the description box for you I knew guys. it was going to come out good. I mean, the only thing I'm not happy about is the is the oil. Yes. But that's something I could fix. Mm -hmm. And for my first time, I think I did really good. Mm-hmm. Um, I would just explore like different flavor profiles for the consomme, maybe like different chiles. Uh huh. But I think maybe make it a little bit spicier, try to make it yeah. spicier next time. That's all preference. Yeah, but I think it's flavor wise, it's it's pretty up there. Mm hmm. For my first time. I think it's really good. For this, for this wannabe cook over here. Where do you get these uh, tapatillos from, babe? The Sev. Really? Yeah, tell me that already. How much were they? I don't know, like two dollars a piece. Well, I'm sure they sell it at like a big stores, but in case anybody wants to know, that's where JB got got it. The 7-Eleven. Yeah, like the noodles in here. It seems like they there's not a lot, but it's never ending with the birria. We should have worn our sombrero so we could look at the patio guy, babe. Uh, I would have been where, down. Where's your, where's your sombrero? Huh? Where's your, where page, page? Is it, is that the dry cleaner is getting washed? Oh, <laughs> you got a little beauty on it. <laughs> the last time. Yeah. Hmm. Y'all, I think I just threw some signs. <laughs> I'm so happy we ate it today. Mm -hmm. I just ate a piece of meat and it bombed. The radishes how many, are good. How many times does your girl say bomb in this video though? The radish is bomb, right? You know why? Because it's fresh. Sometimes it's old, it's old and it's dry. It's not uh -huh. that juicy. Juicy? Yeah, but this time it's fresh. Mm -hmm. Like it's young. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, these gelatinous situations are. Yeah. You know, it's criminal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Isn't it like gelatinous good for you? Like for your skin? The collagen and all that? Yeah, isn't it? I think so. Man, we'll be eating. Like, good, good, huh? You a king, I'm a queen, or what? Yeah. <laughs> you know? We be eating, like, for real. Mm -hmm. You know what, guys? JB actually mentioned something today, or was it yesterday? Because your girl, she was cooking all this mm -hmm. yesterday. Excuse me. And we did a video right out after we, we ate the lingua tacos. And your girl was flustered. It was hot. I was just like... I wasn't. I wouldn't say like stress, but you know, it's, it's the heat, and then like, like having to set up for the video, yeah, cooking, cooking all day, because consomme is not something that cooks in an hour. Mm -hmm. And I was exhausted yesterday. JB was a, a test with it, and I don't know oh. if he said it yesterday or today. You were like, oh, today or whenever we we actually eat it, you're gonna actually like enjoy, enjoy it. More. And he's right. Like right now, like I'm taking my time. You'll be more relaxed because it's tiring, mm -hmm. it's stressful when you're cooking big meals. Extra, yeah. Extravagant meals. Yeah. I, mean, I want to say it's extravagant. It is. It requires a lot of attention. Yeah, and I didn't want to like when when I, I was telling him like with this, I didn't even have in mind that I was gonna do it. But when I picked up the lingua, I was like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it all the way right. Mm -hmm. And then it came out like a whole bunch of meals. And now that I'm sitting here, like I didn't have to really cook today. All I had to do was reheat. I feel so good. Like it's, it's such a, it, it's the biggest reward that mm -hmm. like yesterday mm -hmm. for after yesterday. Like dang, this is why I did it. Yesterday was a feast. For you, I was I was stressed, homie. Uh -huh. It was still bomb though. Like what was bomb? We'll insert a pic here. Go check that video out. Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, 
you know what though guys maybe in maybe in like a couple months during the winter oh yeah this stuff will be it's summer right now or it's gonna be summer mm -hmm. we just did like in the cold season when was yeah. the last would you say like about a month ago that we did this more than that it's been a, like six weeks eight weeks maybe a couple months since we mm -hmm. ate this i i'm gonna definitely like try to make birria again myself but this time i'm gonna try to do it with goat mm -hmm. and see and then we'll do another video see how your girl does with the goat but it'll have to definitely be during the winter because we've yeah. had it so much mm -hmm. see how that turns out huh babe mm -hmm. i'm excited i think obviously the because the goat is raw the last time though that we had the noodles was with the goat meat and it's a very different distinct uh taste that it adds to the consomme it was real good though yeah so that imagine spot, that spot that we got it from yeah was, was real it was good. really good so imagine if we actually made this with the goat i'm gonna i'm gonna put it out there guys we ugh, yo girl feeling herself right now jb like he'd be like honest honest we just had this birria truck. We're not gonna put the name out there. Mm -hmm. And it was a beef birria. Their consomme was not as good as mine. No. And I'm not trying to like toot my own horn, but it really wasn't. And was I'm like, not, right, I'm not, babe? I'm not even gonna start. Back me up. Yeah, I'm not even gonna start uh, to say what I wanna say because I just don't wanna say. No, but it, we're not even saying the name. It's just mm -hmm. like, I think right now, like, not to talk so much ish on anybody, mm -hmm. I think that. Right now, guys, there's a hype with the birrias, and I feel like everyone thinks like they can do it, mm -hmm. and you gotta be careful because they're charging crazy amounts for this kind of stuff, and if they're just charging for the heck of it, and they're not actually like stand out birria, like why are you even taking homie? Yeah, deliver. And it's like you can make a birria better at home, then why do it at home, guys? Mm -hmm. Like don't go to these spots, but I mean there are not to discount those places that are amazing. Um, but yeah, now that I'm trying this and like had theirs like a week ago, right? Mm -hmm. We had it like a week ago. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, mine's way better. She feeling herself. No, but it's, it's the truth. I don't think it's the best beer I've ever eaten. Of course not. Was it better than that spot yet? Mm -hmm. You finished your noodles already or are you done so? I tore it up. You finished it, babe? That's a snack, girl. Snack. Burr. Burr. <laughs> what? You finished it, dude? That was a snack. Me atrás. How am I supposed to finish? Last time I didn't finish mine. He finished. Did you finish your salsa? This, this is like a cup of noodle. It's a lot of meat, babe. Hmm? It's a lot of meat. What you gonna do for the rest of the video while you're looking at it? Stare at you. Is this another thumbnail? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna. No, please. Oh yeah, you know, just be here to help me, dude. You're gonna need some. Right there. Y'all. Wow. Comment below if you have suffered from sweaty nose your whole life. <laughs> Is it a Mexican thing? Is it a Michoacan thing? No. I don't know, but my nose, guys, oh, it's a problem. Pers I think I'm perspiring, huh? <sighs> Leave me alone, dude. I think some people get uh, Botox for this situation. No, there's no such thing. Yeah, I've seen people get Botox for sweaty To keep the nose sweating? Yeah, dude, look it up. They remove, it's not Botox, they remove the glands, the sweat No, glands. but don't they also treat it with Botox to help with sweat? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought I had read that somewhere. In your armpits, they remove the sweat glands. That's fancy. I think, I think that's what they do. I mean, we're just like messing around right now, but there's actual people like out there who yeah. have like these type of issues and we shouldn't. Well, yeah, of course. But I'm not like saying nothing bad, I'm just like, yo, girl, she's sweating. It's okay. Mm. I'm gonna have to tear up the mango taco there tonight. Okay? Okay? The mango tacos. You still hungry, babe? You're just messing around, right? No, I'll say there tonight. <laughs> He's so crazy. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. All right, since you're done, babe, mm -hmm. I guess we could close out now. Yo, we got five done. minutes. We got five minutes. Tell us a story. Like, can you be a storyteller? I don't know any stories. You don't know no stories. I mean, there's got to be a story that... You got me so you got JV napkin. It's gotta lead into a story, you know what I mean? I thought you were the reporter you here. Just, you can't just throw a story out. I'm actually like getting so full. Mm -hmm. But it's like one of those foods again, like you just want to keep eating. Not gonna lie guys, these two videos back to back is sweat, 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 sweat. And I think it's because it's full of man. Look at my face. But too. it's gonna be like that all summer. No, it's this, because this is hot. You know what it is too? We're drinking like I'm drinking like cold, hot, cold, hot, and it's like it does that to your body, you know. But it's gonna be like this all summer. Why are you? Why are you scaring your girl? Me vas a dar puta o qué? I'm a troll. Boogie woogie. I'm a troll. The boogie The boogie woogie. I don't want this to end. Mm. The ne the never ending cup of noodle. The boogie woogie. Oh, she pop it, girl, pop it. <laughs> Why you kill my vibe? We gotta go. All right, all right. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Why you? Why you asking me for permission? Cause you the boss. No, you the boss. You the big boss. You the bigger, bigger boss. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for checking <laughs> us out on another video. Uh, another F F F. He don't stay it right no more. You be slucky. No, eh, eh. Subscribe. Comment, like, hit the notification bell. I'm gonna do all the YouTube stuff. Cause we, cause we, we out there like that. Mhm. Mm Why am I talking like this? We just close out right now. I gotta go. We Bye. gotta go. See y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, guys, I know this looks a little grossy dosy but that's what exactly what I'm doing. This is the beef tongue, and I cut it up into three pieces, and I'm basically boiling out all the nasties. And once I boil it, like, once, I can take it out and put new fresh water, because I'm going to make some barbacoa. I also put some beef bones in here, or barbacoa or birria, I guess, whatever you call it. Use some beef bones so that I can flavor the broth. It's not a typical birria, but we wanted to make some tacos. And you can really basically make a consomme with any type of like beef broth. So I am excited. We'll be back. I'll show you guys what the fresh water looks like once I let all the blood clean out. Bye. So I wanted to check in. This is the bones, the beef bones. It's just like basically bone marrow. And then I left just the tongue. I'm gonna let it boil a little bit more to take out all the nasties. And then I'll take it out and come back. But wanted to show you guys all that bone that's gonna flavor the birria. Alright guys, this is what the water looks like when you add the seasonings. Basically, it's just the onion, bay leaves. It's supposed to be like a whole head of garlic. I don't have any, so I just used my diced garlic. And obviously some salt. When it boils, you want to add the meat back. I'll show you guys when I do that. Alright guys, it's basically boiling. I forgot to mention, sorry, it's so steamy. Um, water wise like recipe wise I just kind of add water enough to cover the meat and then you just kind of add as you think you need honestly that's how I do it but yeah you basically add the tongue back now that you've um, boiled out all, all the nasties and then you just are gonna let it cook the other bones for maybe like two to three hours and then I'll be back to show you guys how you do the the sauce for the birria 
my bad guys so i just showing you after i added all the beef bones and the beef neck like i get like i said can't talk it's just to flavor the broth for the birria but yeah this is gonna simmer for like two hours skim for like the top layer like the fattiness and like the blood and yeah let's let it do its thing i'm so excited I'm getting some non-talking footage for JB because he'd be the silent, silent, silent. <laughs> Bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. Just wanted to show you the progress. It's like been about an hour, but I added some beef stock and then this will be the last time I add liquid. And yeah, it's literally smelling so good. I know like tongue is probably like off-putting to some but it's a really really nice flavor for tacos yep okay guys just wanted to show you some of the chiles for the birria nuevo mexico chile guajillo we're gonna be using some comino some sesame seeds some pasilla chile some chile de árbol and some clavo which is cloves i believe yeah and some like whole black pepper and some oregano that's gonna go into the chile for the birria see ya so i wanted to show you guys the chiles i deep potted them and de-seeded and washed them and now i'm gonna boil them it's like the california Guajillo, New Mexico, Chile de Arbol, and Chile, Chile Pasilla. And this is how the beef tongue... Oh, sorry, the stain. The beef tongue is looking with the beef bones and the neck bones. I'm going to basically be making a birria with this type of meat, which I'm pretty stoked about. It smells amazing. When you like blend it, it's hard to open. Stop! You should say what I'm doing. So. Sweaty, dude. I need JB's help. What are you doing, girl? I'm gonna put the chile into the birria. I. I'm blending all these spices and like vinegar and sesame seeds, and now I'm gonna strain it into the broth, so you guys can see that. I just want them to see that part. Mm-hmm. This is the tongue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have you ever seen Bibia be made, babe? Mm-hmm, right now. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, let me, that's it. Hold on, let me just pour it all in. I gotta blend some more. Okay, you can stop now. I feel weird. This is thick, so you just have to- Take your time? Take your time, yeah. And I'm gonna eat this. I can't multitask. Stop! You gotta like help it. You gotta massage it. This is the, the love part. This is the love mm -hmm. thing. Why am I so sweaty, dude? Yes. Okay, yeah. Bye. Bye. We'll come back. Bye. Okay, so quick update. I literally took all the meat from those bones off and like the neck bones and shredded the meat. That's gonna be for our ramen, for the birria. Today, obviously, like I had said, we are gonna be eating the lengua. And here's the progress of the lengua. I made it in the birria consomme, as well as the bones. So basically, I'm gonna let it simmer some more. Here's all the tongue you have to take out that white layer and then we're gonna chop it up for tacos and then the broth will be reheated with the ramen with the shredded uh, beef that I had showed you guys but yeah I'm so stoked hopefully it comes out good we will show you guys all of the final products